It's hard, ladies and gentlemen. It's hard living your dream. It's hard changing your life. Once you've been knocked out by life, it's hard to pull yourself together and go back again. You're going to make a lot of mistakes. You're going to have a lot of failures. You're going to have a lot of struggles. You're going to feel dumb and ask questions and don't know what to do or where to go. You got to know why you're out here because you're going to get your butt kicked. When the storms of life come and they're going to come, when life pounces on you and that's going to happen, when it catches you on the blind side and drop you to your knees and that's going to happen, when your plans don't work out and that's going to happen, when you start running out of money and that's going to happen, when you want to give up and that's going to happen, your reasons will be your rod and staff to comfort you. Your reasons will be your bridge over troubled waters. But you got to know why you're there because your reasons when life drops you to your knees, your reasons will help you get back up. When I times I want to give up, why are you here, Les? Because I want to make Mama proud of me. Why are you here, Les? I promise my kids something I'll do for them. I'm going to give them a better life. I want to leave them a legacy. I'm not going to give up. Go back, go back, fool, go back. No, no. I refuse to give up on my dream. And I'm not going to let anything stop me. Sometimes you have to back up and go within and pray and meditate and recharge your batteries. Go away, clear your head, and then come back and look at it from a different vantage point. Don't operate while you're under the spell or the effect of what's going on. See, we can't control the thoughts that come in our minds, but we can control the thoughts that we dwell on. So your thoughts have magnetism, and the most challenging thing is to discipline your thinking, to hold the vision of what it is that you want. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional, but you want to begin to discipline your emotion. If you don't discipline and contain your emotions, they will use you. You get up every fucking day, you look in the mirror, and you tell that mirror, I'm a bad motherfucker. And one way or another, I'm going to make it fucking happen today. This is a test. This is the day I'm going to find out if my goals really are my goals. I'm talking about looking yourself in the mirror, looking yourself in the eye, and saying, I'm going to fucking dominate today better than any other day. You're going to get up. You're going to get dressed. You're going to get out. And you're going to do what you've been called to do. You're going to be what you called me. And you're going to prove to everybody that tried to break you, everybody that tried to stop you, everybody that tried to kill your dream, you're going to prove all of them wrong. I'm going to show them all they're wrong because I'm the champion. I'm going to prove I'm the greatest. I'm going to prove to you I'm the greatest. I'm going to prove to the world I'm the greatest. There'll never be one like me. Our character is defined by the choices we make on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. It all adds up to the win. You might not win it today, but your efforts done today, even the failure felt today, are all measures that create the moment later. And if you got knocked down, found a physical court to get back up, try that same endeavor, then you find yourself victorious in that endeavor, that's the sweetest victory of all. That feels a confidence that's unbreakable. And you've come too far to only come this far. So you fight if you have to. You crawl if you have to. You scrap if you have to. You do whatever it takes, because on the other side of that pain is your promise. So you get through.